Hey guys, check it out. Uh, Saturn Dave here, and I've got this Humble Bazooka Blue Retro Bluetooth dongle, right? For the Saturn. The build quality is really, really solid. This thing is just rock solid. And I want to show you something that's really cool here. Let me go ahead and plug it in to the Saturn here. It has a nice snug fit. And I just press, it like starts up in discovery mode, right? And pairs with my controller instantly. And then uh, we're gonna go to the satiator here. I'm gonna show you, I apologize for the uh, dude mowing his lawn in the background, but it is early in the morning. So uh, we're gonna boot up nights into dreams here. I'm gonna try to show you how insane this is. So check it out. Um, I did have to go into the web UI, which is just in a browser. You, you just use the blue retro uh, web config to change it into analog mode. There isn't a button uh, configuration right now, but there should be. Check it out though. You can you can still use the digital start and the digital D-pad to change the menu and stuff like that, but when we get into gameplay, you're gonna see how crazy this is. Um, I haven't personally seen, um, I haven't personally seen like an analog implementation that works as well as this so far like th that feels as uh you know free of latency This is the, by the way, this is the Gully Kit uh, King Kong Pro or the Wireless Zen controller. Uh, sorry for the focus, the change in focus, but I'm just doing this on my phone real quick. Um, yeah, like it's it's hard. It's really, really hard to tell the difference between this and a Saturn 3D control pad. Actually, I, there may not be a difference. I'm not even kidding you right now. Like. Uh, this is really exciting to me because I'll tell you what I tried out the uh, I tried out the retro bit controllers at uh, PRGE and they did not they were not this responsive. No offense to retro bit. I mean, I'm sure like they've got some work to do and I'm sure that they're going to keep getting better. But I mean, this right here is just now I don't know if this has anything to do with the fact that the Gully Kit controller uses hall sensors just like the 3D control pad. But yeah, essentially, both of these pads use the same essential technology. Both of these pads use uh, magnetic hall sensors. Um, <coughs> whereas the, uh, at least the last time I tested them, the, uh, what is it? the the retro bit controllers are using those Alps sticks that they use in the Switch, right? Which are basically volume sensors, which is, a, you know, it's a traditional, it's a traditional approach. But now that Gully Kit actually provides, Gully Kit actually sells um, Switch hall sensors for your Switch. You know, it's, uh, it's like a no-brainer. You know that they they should uh, upgrade to those since they haven't put out the product yet. And that's my official opinion on the matter i definitely think that it that at this point it's almost like they have no excuse but not to to do it but anyway um like there you go uh apo apologies for the footage but anyway as you can see the the dongle itself and my and this controller they both start up in discovery mode so it's pretty much like there's no pairing involved that might not be the case for everybody some folks might have to press the pairing button or whatever, but I mean, it's almost instantaneous. Like the blue, the blue retro dongle advertises itself as a, as a wireless controller dongle and the, uh, gully kit controller, uh, on the top here, you can see has several different modes. I just put it in the windows mode, which is essentially X input and it's just automatic. You know, um, the only thing that I had to change again, like I said, was just to go on my PC, go to the website and it connects to the controller, like autumn, it, it just detects, or sorry, it, it detects the receiver, 
connects to it, gives you a little web user interface, and you can just change it to analog, basically. And that's it. If I want to change it back to digital, full digital, I would just have to do that again. And I've uh, bookmarked it in my web browser for now. They are working on like a button combination or maybe a button press, you know, maybe mapping a button combination to a switch so that it acts like the 3D analog control pad. But that's just kind of a work in progress. But for now, we have like, I don't know, man, I, my my 3D control pad, to be honest with you, is beat up a bit because I've I've played this game so much. And um, I'm not even kidding right now. This feels so good. Like you heard it here. I, I, it feels so good. Like I, I'm so happy. I'm I'm going to be playing more nights with this controller and really seeing if I can if I can equal my top scores with the 3D control pad with this Gully Kit controller and maybe some other controllers. I'll, I'll test it out anyway. So you heard it here. It, uh, so far, I'm very impressed. I'll be writing an, an article about this for sure.